There are some important messages that you have to know before this new moon in Virgo that are going to expand your horizons and make you realize that everything is possible. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Lior Alexandra. On this channel, we talk about the law of attraction, spirituality, self-development, and so much more. And a couple times a month, I like to share these new moon and full moon energy readings in which I tap into the collective unconscious of mankind, of humankind, and I see what's coming up for us, what energies are being presented to us, mixed in with card pullings and astrology to get a very comprehensive feel of what's coming up for humanity and how we can best use these energies to our ability. While writing today's video, I experienced such a flood of insight in channel messages that I had to create like this idea, a word bank that I'm going to share with you. And what I think is happening is that because these readings are reaching such a large audience, there are so many ideas that want to come out to be heard and to be received that they're just flooding in they're fighting each other to come through me so i'm going to share with you like this sort of list of messages that want to come through because it might be for you i'm not sure so in this video we're going to talk about the new moon in virgo which is happening on the 27th of this month i think it's happening around 1 a.m pacific standard if i'm not mistaken and what energy it's bringing us i'm going to offer some intuitive channeled messages that came through as well a list of things to do around the new moon that are going to be supported right now and then i have some journaling prompts because we all love those at the end of these videos uh, so you can incorporate those into your new moon rituals this month so this is a video that's going to be full of lots of really helpful and positive and transformative information lots of value just like the energy of the new moon in virgo this feels like a really good new moon so let's get everything that we can out of it before we get into the video just a quick announcement this thursday i am hosting a new moon manifestation ceremony exclusively for my love mastery program students so if you're watching this before the 25th and you're one of my lmp students check your inbox check the email that you signed up with or check our facebook group you'll have your invite in there and you still have time to join us if you're watching this before the 25th i'm opening up 10 spots for the love mastery program at 50 percent off half the price this program has dozens of hours of manifestation content frequency raising information, new moon and full moon ceremonies, resources, bonus workshops, a private Facebook community. And once you're a member, you have access to everything for a light for your forever, right? So you pay one time and you have lifetime access um, and you get invited to every Love Mastery program workshop that I do host. Now the Love Mastery program, of course, is a, it's, it's a program of self-discovery and of manifesting romantic love and self-love. It's finding the love that you have to have for yourself in order to pull love in all different various forms into your life. So get in with that link below before it's back to full price. You have a 28 day money back guarantee. So no, no questions asked. So you can find that discounted price in the description below. Uh, during the workshop, we're going to be live. We're going to manifest together. We often cry together. We laugh together. We have a sound bath. We do a bunch of really fun stuff and we manifest together, right? So I highly recommend joining us um, if anybody's been to one of my workshops please comment below let people know how you feel about them i know it'll be a good review and if you can't make it live to the workshop you will have access to the replay inside the course along with like four other workshops that we've done in the past thank you as always for allowing me to sponsor my own videos i am moving towards doing more of that and taking on less contractual sponsors so that i'm in charge of what i can talk about and you know i have all these beautiful offerings so i really appreciate you thank you and let's get into the video so the good news is that for me this new moon feels really positive i know that there are some readings out there that have said that a lot of challenges might arise around this new moon and i can see where they are coming from but i do believe that we are able to transmute any frustration and any um challenging aspects and moments because in overall there's it's really feeling like a sign of good times ahead and i feel that we can align to the highest potential of this new moon if we simply look for it 
So as always, the new moon is the time when we set our intentions. It's the days around it, you know, a couple days before, a couple days after. They're really fertile, dark soil, and it's waiting for us to plant our seeds of intention so that roots might take hold and something really beautiful can bloom into our lives. So I always recommend setting your intentions on the new moon for the upcoming lunar cycle ahead. But this new moon specifically, along with for the lunar cycle ahead, I also recommend setting your intentions for the following six months as we enter a new six month cycle that will culminate around March 2023. So decide what you want to see in happening in your life in the next six months. So the new moon, as always, is a time for new beginnings, but especially this new moon, it's a great time for starting a new, a new job or a new project or taking a new class, a new relationship even. And I really recommend challenging yourself to do something for the next 30 days, for the next lunar cycle, like a 30 day challenge. I recently did a 30 day writing challenge and it was so fulfilling for me. It was so nourishing for me. And I want you to take that on as well especially because the virgo and the uh, mercury energy that we have right now is going to be really beneficial for completing the challenge that you take on so challenge yourself to do something for 30 days whatever it may be maybe it's create it's creating a new routine for yourself taking on a new habit or a hobby or working out or creating something or getting your life together whatever it is this challenge is going to be supported right now and i'll talk more about that later on so I want to share the ideas and words that came up for this new moon because they just are staying with me and I feel like there's just somebody out there that needs to hear some of these. So some of the words that came up for me are mercur mercurial, swiftness, cunning, mental energy, surprises, shifts in consciousness, reassessing relationships, hermit, white butterfly, earth, gods and goddesses, plants, fidgeting, shakeups, dialogue, conversation, discovery, forward momentum, the holy mother, monarch butterfly, and blue cardinal. So those are just some ideas and thoughts and concepts that want to come through. How they're going to come up for us, I don't know, but I'm going to start sharing them as they do because I want to honor any ideas that are being channeled through me. So I'm trying to talk a little fast for this one because we have so much here and I want to Make sure you get all of it. So we have major Mercury energy. This new moon, we have the sun and the moon, uh, both in Virgo. And there are also other play placements that are bringing in the Mercury energy. And we are also entering, I believe by the time you see this video, we should already be in the Mercury retrograde pre-shadow phase. Mercury, of course, is the messenger of the gods. And so this planet rules communication of all kinds. So do expect this new moon energy to really surround around lively communication, talking to each other, expressing ourselves and letting our voice be heard, expressing what is in on our heart and on our minds, especially on our minds because this energy that we have is very mental a lot of mental energy right now the quality of time is speeding up again towards the end of the month everything feels like it's moving very fast um, i urge you to slow yourself down through breathing through mindfulness and to not make any rash decisions at this time look at the details whether you're entering a contract or entering a relationship whatever it is look at the details of everything this will be very beneficial especially as we enter mercury retrograde in the shadow phase Around the 24th of the month, you can expect some sort of surprise. This doesn't necessarily have to be on the 24th on the dot. It could be the day before or the day after, but definitely around this time. Um, it could be what in our own life or it could be in the collective. We're going to see, I guess. My only advice for this is take things as they come. Don't try to change what happens and just remain really receptive and open to what's being offered to you, okay? So recognize that around the 24th, something is going to come up, maybe some sort of truth, maybe some sort of um, uh, new divergent life path is being offered to you. Something is happening around that time. And then around the new moon, we might have some feelings of frustration and irritability, kind of reminiscent of a full moon. I want you to ride the wave of these emotions. Don't make any rash decisions uh, based on them. Practice breath work during this time. Connect with the breath. Breathe through 
feeling these emotions, journal a lot and don't react to your surroundings, just observe. To balance this out, it's also a very creative time and a time that supports forward, forward momentum. So channel any of this excess irritable and frustrated energy into creative work and into movements such as working out, being in your body. This is going to be a very useful way to transmute this energy and make sure that it's only positive. Um, anything that's causing some raw nerves and restlessness, take it out through creating, through being in the body, working out, being outside in nature. When it comes to relationships, a conversation might come up that requires some sort of reassessment of the makeup of the relationship. Something maybe need may need to be figured out, the details looked at again or more closely this time. And the relationship can grow stronger if both partners are in on the reassessment together. And of course, this doesn't need to be only um, a romantic relationship. This could be platonic, familial, business relationships as well. But overall, partnerships and business opportunities are looking up right now. They're looking good. Fresh starts are supported. It's a good time for making improvements wherever they're needed. And I want to share a few channeled messages that came through when I connected to the energy of this new moon, the first one is that your victory is inevitable. If you've been working on something and fear and, and doubt and imposter syndrome have come back up to the surface, that doesn't mean that it's going to hell. It doesn't mean that, it, that it's not worth completing, complete whatever it is that you're doing. Keep going, do it because you're afraid. Um, your success is assured. You just must remind yourself that you're not separate from the divine and that any failure that you're noticing in your outer reality is just an illusion being projected from your beliefs about yourself. So change your belief system and keep moving towards your inevitable success. Just keep going, keep working on this thing. The second one is about precious jewels and gems. The things that we're looking for outside of ourselves are actually within us and we're going to find them through service. In what way can you be of service and use your natural gifts and natural talents that lie deep within you? What have you been wanting to offer the world? That thing is needed right now more than ever and you're getting a big yes on talking about it, on sharing it, communicating it, uh, going all out with it you're going to get a, receive a big forward momentum from this new moon so ride that wave keep it going and create remember your victory is inevitable your success is assured there's a chance that you will meet a, a new group of people or maybe some other individual these are your soul family your soul tribe some sort of um, reconnection, reunion with a group of people or another person who kind of feel like home and you're getting together for a bigger purpose. And the bigger purpose is not super clear right now, but it will come to uh, the light in time. So if you're meeting some new people or you have an opportunity to go meet new people, a good time to do that. You're going to have some sort of meeting of the minds, a reunion with soulmates, a connection with this soul tribe, something with a greater cause, something about aligning with people who are very much like you. And the last one is to dream bigger, okay? Especially during your new moon manifestations, think as big and as grand and as wildly as you can for yourself. And know that whatever desires that you have, no matter how big they look like to you, to the creator, they are no bigger than you asking for a cup of coffee. Nothing is impossible to the divine, nothing. But we have to remember to stop looking at everything from human eyes and realize that we we are the ones putting limitations on ourselves and putting limitations on the creator's powers with our small human perspectives. So just understand that your success is assured and um, the jewels are within you and that you can dream really big and ask for really big things. Then I want to share what is really supported during this time around the new moon, starting really around the 22nd, all the way until a few days after the new moon. Uh, get to work on your to-do list. Improve your health through diet and exercise, through supplementation, taking your health more seriously. Fix up your routine. Clean out some drawers. Sign up for a new class. Or like I was saying, take on a 30-day challenge or both. Uh, it's a good time to tend to paperwork and to the small, minute details. Get things done. 
move your body and create to release any frustration or any built up energy and if you do some of these things even one of these things you're going to be using this energy to the best of your ability and getting the most out of it so that's great now the journal prompts i want to share with you today they're kind of like intention setting rituals as well number one what negative habit can i release this month number two what positive habit can i replace that one with Number three, what 30 day challenge can I take on? Set an intention to do that now if this resonates. Number four, if your life is your message, what is the message you are sharing with the world right now? And number five, what precious jewels lie within you that you can share with the world during the next six months? I kind of got through that pretty quickly, which is in alignment with this energy that I'm connected to right now. So remember, really quick moving energy. Things are moving fastly. Things are changing. Uh, take your time with things. Take your time. Look over the details. Look over contracts. Uh, really look at the be meticulous. OK, with this energy that's coming up for you and it's all going to be really positive and really empowering i hope you enjoy today's new moon energy reading if you haven't subscribed yet i'd really appreciate it if you would and also turn your notifications on turn your notifications on for youtube in general so you can always get these energy readings before the actual date of the new moon and the full moon so you can take full advantage of that beautiful cosmic graceful energy we're receiving if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know what resonated with you in the comments uh and let's talk in the comments below you know i'm around for the first 30 minutes after posting the video so let's talk and i hope to see you in my new moon ceremony this thursday if not you can watch the replay join the love mastery program first 10 people to sign up get it at 50 percent off it's a really great deal you're gonna love the program i love you thank you for spending time with me today i hope you enjoyed as always until next time keep your vibrations way 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 up bye <laughs>